من الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يحدي له فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا حادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد as we come to a benefit a small reminder we want to remind ourselves with the treasures from the treasures of that which it is important of from the treasures of ilm ya ayyuhan nas the message the message sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said inna ma amalu bin niyat really the actions only they are only based on one's intentions so it is imperative that the person seeks that which is good for him that which he attends of good doing his best month that is approaching us it is imperative for us to pay attention to that which is important of seeking knowledge and reading the quran and memorizing the quran and pondering and reflecting the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said man yurid man yurid allah bihi khayran yufakkihu fi din man yurid allah bihi khayran yufakkihu fi din whoever allah wants good for he gives him an understanding of the religion but it is upon the servant to strive to put forth the efforts and doing that which is good for him put in the effort and striving put in the work yani exerting yourself so perhaps allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may give you an understanding of the religion he may give you some understanding but this doesn't come about by a person just being lazy and lacks a desire but rather it comes with the servant striving to do that which will benefit him as it is mentioned that the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam finished the fajr prayer and he used to say allahumma inni as'aluka li'ilman nafi'an wa rizqan tayyiban wa 'amalan mutaqabbalan oh allah i ask you for beneficial knowledge lawful provisions and deeds that are correct and accepted by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and pleasing to him subhanahu wa ta'ala وَمَادَا You can find this in Ibn Maja رَحِيمُهُ اللَّهُ تَعَيْدَا So this dua is something that is important asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after the Fajr prayer to give you beneficial knowledge and the lawful provisions the provisions that is tayyib that is wholesome that is halal and also the deeds that are correct because many people they do deeds but they are not correct meaning they are not uh that which is pleasing to Allah Azza wa Jalla and it is not in accordance with the prophet of Allah alayhi wa sallam so it is not correct so the deed it must be for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jalla seeking the reward in the face of Allah Azza wa Jalla and the deed it has to be done in accordance of the way of the messenger of Allah alayhi wa sallam in order for that deed to be accepted in order for that deed to be accepted Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah he mentions he said I contemplated over the most beneficial supplication and I realized that it is asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and su'ad al-awna ala maradati and that it is which is for, for aid upon that which is pleasing to him subhanahu wa ta'ala so it is upon a person that he asks Allah azza wa jalla for aid and assistance and to seek the assistance of Allah and that which is pleasing to him subhanahu wa ta'ala the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said ala inna dunya inna dunya mal'una 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 ma fiha illa dhikr Allah really this worldly life is cursed along with what is in it except for the remembrance of Allah and what is connected to it a scholar and one seeking knowledge a scholar يعني أن the one who was seeking the knowledge والعالم أو متعلم وما ذاد ابن تيمية رحمه الله he said الطيب الطيب ما في الدنيا معرفة الله والطيب ما في الآخرة نظر إليه سبحانه وتعالى the greatest pleasure in this world the greatest pleasure in this worldly life يا أيها الإخوة is looking at him عز وجل so the knowledge 
in this world, the greatest of knowledge is that which is beneficial knowledge. Beneficial knowledge. And that is the pleasure in this worldly life. And the pleasure in the hereafter is looking at the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah to make us amongst those who's trying to gain beneficial knowledge and to seek the pleasure and the rewards and to seek the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Naam ya ayyuhal ikhwah. Ibn Qayyim rahimahullah, he said, whoever loves knowledge, man ahabba al-ilm wa ahlahu faqad ahabba ma ahabba Allah. Whoever loves knowledge and his people loves that which Allah loves. Whoever loves knowledge, al-ilm ya ayyuhal nas, beneficial knowledge, and he loves his people of knowledge. Yani the ulama, the rabbaniyun, those scholars who cultivate and nurture the people. He loved the people of it. He loved the Yani the scholars. Loved those who are the seekers of knowledge, the students of knowledge, ya ayyuhal nas. He loves that which Allah loves. So men talib al ilm. So whoever seeks knowledge in order to revive Islam. Whoever seeks knowledge in order to revive Islam from the Yani is from the truthful. Whoever seeks the knowledge in order to revive Islam, he is from amongst the truthful. And his level is after the level of the prophethood. Allahu Akbar. So this should be the aim and the objective of individuals seeking knowledge. Is to revive the deen of Islam. To spread the deen of Islam. As Sufyan, Athari rahimahullah, said, Man min amal afdal min talib al There is no action more virtuous than the seeking than seeking knowledge. Either sahat niya. Either sahat niyati. Either sahih. Either mother, if one's intention is either sahiha, sahiha din niyati. If one's intention is correct. There is no action more virtuous than seeking knowledge if one's intention is correct. As we mentioned the hadith prior to this, that the actions, yani in the ma'amanu bin niyat, that really the actions are based on intentions. So it is a must that the person actions be that his intention is to seek knowledge. There is no action more virtuous than seeking knowledge. If one's intention is correct, he must purify his intentions. Because individuals, some people, they seek knowledge for the wrong reasons. So the intentions is not correct. Some people, they seek knowledge for fame. Some people, they seek knowledge to be, you know, to be seen, to be heard. So this person's intentions is not correct. And we ask Allah to make us sincere. And in closing, inshallah, ta'ala, it is reported from Yani as Sufyan, a Thawri, wa a Shafi'i, rahimahum Allah. He said, There's nothing more virtuous. And they said, Ba'da, Faraid, Afdal min Talib al Ilm. There's nothing more virtuous after the obligation or after the obligatory duties than seeking knowledge. We ask Allah for his tawfiq. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.